You may have seen this article doing the rounds on the internet. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle being welcomed into Nigeria by a US fugitive wanted for a whopping $20 million money laundering scam. However, did you know that potentially they've been friends for months? Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah. Let's jump into this madness, shall we, as my voice is coming back, so thank you to everyone that bared with me last week. But yes, Hazard and Megsy, when they went to Nigeria, were welcomed by a US fugitive wanted for a $20 million scam. Guys, you can't make this shiz up. Now, stay tuned because I'm going to show you some receipts that show that potentially Megzi and Hazard have been friends with this US fugitive for months. But for those that don't know the background to this, let me just explain. So reportedly, uh, Megzi and Hazza were welcomed to Lagos, Nigeria by a wanted fugitive. Um, now, he's called Dr. Alan Onyema. He's age 59, and if I've mispronounced that name, I apologise. Now, he was among a small group of officials who greeted Hazza and Megzi as they touched down into Nigeria last Sunday. This is all according to the Daily Mail. Now, this person, this fugitive, is the founder and CEO of Air Peace, which is a Nigerian carrier that Hazard and Megs used for their three-day tour of the country. Now, he's well-known in Nigeria, but he is subject to a U.S. federal indictment that was filed all the way back around about three, four years ago in November 2019. Now, at the time, the U.S. Department of Justice actually released a statement saying that he was charged with bank fraud and money laundering for moving more than $20 million from Nigeria through United States bank accounts in a scheme involving false documents based on the purchase of airplanes. Yeah. Sometimes you are the company that you keep, right? Megzi and Hazard have always been accused of being grifters, right? I mean, come on. Associating themselves with one of the biggest scam artist grifters of all. $20 million scam. I mean, come on. This is insane. Now, apparently, he allegedly used the laundered money in part to buy a Lexus, a Rolls Royce, a Mercedes, and designer goods at Prada and Louis Vuitton. I mean, he's got good taste, let's put it that way, right? When it comes to fashion, it seems. Now, it's unclear whether Hazard and Megzi are actually aware that he's a wanted US fugitive and that he's actually being charged. Um, now, in his defence, Onyema, and again, if I've mispronounced his name, I apologise, has maintained his innocence, of course he has, uh, saying back in 2019, quote, be rest assured that I also have my lawyers on this and these mere allegations will be refuted. I never laundered money in my life, neither have I committed bank fraud anywhere in the world. Saying every Kobo, which is Nigerian currency, I transferred to the US for aircraft purchase, went through the Central Bank of Nigeria LC regime, and all were used for the same purpose. Yeah, like, that's supposed to invoke a sense of, oh yeah, we totally believe you, mate. Totally. I know I don't. Now, in 2010, uh, he began traveling frequently to Atlanta, where he opened several personal and business bank accounts. Now, according to the Department of Justice announcement, over $44.9 million was allegedly transferred into his Atlanta-based accounts from foreign sources between 2010 and 2018. <laughs> Massive amounts of money here. Now... Um, the U.S. attorney, uh, Byung J. B. J. Park, and again, if I've mispronounced that name, I apologize, uh, said in the announcement, quote, that Onyema allegedly leveraged his status as a prominent business leader and airline executive while using falsified documents to commit fraud. We will diligently protect the integrity of our banking system uh, from being corrupted by criminals, even when they disguise themselves in a cloak of international business. Now... 
my kind of like sense of this and research into, you know, the Department of Justice is that they're not going to file charges unless they've got something proper concrete and serious on you. So this dude is in a world of trouble. And Megzi and Hazza associating themselves with this dude is in for a world of pain, especially when receipts are coming out that their encounter in Nigeria was not a one-off, that potentially they've actually been friends for months. Now, let me show you the potential receipts for this. Now, we're going all the way back to September last year when the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf were happening. The opening ceremony on the 9th of December with it closing on the 16th of December. Now, thanks to my good friend, Megan Small, and if you're not subscribed to on YouTube, you're living under a rock, get it done now. Well, she's got an eagle eye for this shiz, and she's like, well... Looky, what do we have here? Looks like plans have been in the works since Invictus Dusseldorf. And you see, right there and then, this US fugitive posing with Hazard and Megzi as they landed in Nigeria. But, oh, look, someone extremely similar. You could say they're twins, guys, at this point. I mean, come on. Seems to be the US fugitive yet again, sat right next to Hazza at the Invictus Games. That says a lot, right, guys? And so you had at Resting Dollface turning around and saying, look, it makes sense. Isn't Dusseldorf where Megzi made it all about a 43% Nigerian heritage? And Meg's, Megan's mole said yes, since she had announced it on Archetypes a few months earlier. Oh, brilliant timing, right, guys? But guess what? I, I went a little bit further and I thought to myself, well, hang on a minute. Hazard's on a visa in America, right? Highly contested at the moment with, yes, the Heritage Foundation. And so what did I do? Oh, I just tweeted to Niall Gardner from the Heritage Foundation and I asked him this. I was wondering at Nile Gardner, if someone is cavorting with a US fugitive, does that mean that their visa could or should be revoked? And I added two links to this tweet at him. Firstly, this article here. And then secondly, Megan's Mull's tweet. So if I do get a response from Nile Gardner, Best believe, yes, I will be keeping you guys updated on this channel. But um, it's a bit of a good question, if I do say so, Miss Sam. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course, there's going to be more. Hopefully, a response from Nile Gardner. Then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe, because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also, as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Megzi and Hazza potentially being friends for months with a US fugitive, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.